To our magnificent Springboks, I know that you're now on your way home for your victory lap around South Africa after that record-breaking win in the Rugby World Cup on Saturday evening. But I wanted to send a message to you from the millions of South Africans across the world who cheered, cried, and beamed with pride when you hoisted that Webb Ellis Trophy into the air. We know how sport unites our nation. It's a stuff of poetry and prose, and of course, Hollywood blockbusters. Many people have said that this win means so much for South Africa because of the many hardships that we face as a nation. But more crucially, it's symbolic of our determination as a country and as a people to always choose to fight against the odds, even when they may seem insurmountable. We get so emotional watching your fight, watching your determination to never give up because it echoes our fight to never give up on the country that we all love so deeply and work so tirelessly to make succeed. After 1994, we realized the value of holding on to hope, holding on to the prospect of a better future. And on Saturday evening, South Africans around the world held on to you as our ambassadors of our truly great country and our truly great people who know deep, deep down that we are indeed stronger together. The Springboks win reminded us of the power of one voice, one vote and one point, when the stakes are so high that giving up seems like it could be the only option. You reminded South Africans across the world that giving up on the dream of South Africa no matter how difficult and fraught with obstacles it may be, is never an option. You reminded us that by finding what is common among us instead of what is different is the reason our country remains a living miracle to this day. Whereas people still troubled by the wounds of the past, we continue to see the strength in joining hands and moving forward rather than surrendering to division and despair. Now the rest of the world may not understand this, but we do. It's the reason why South Africa's tuned into Saturday night's game to feel bound once again to our country and our people. You represent the hopes and dreams of millions and you remind us of the power of hope and the imperative to keep fighting against the odds to make our country succeed. Now one point is all it took to win those final three games and propel the Springboks to victory. And the choice to fight for that advantage over your opponents is the choice we as South Africans make every day to fight for our country, the country that we want to leave for our children. And so to you, the Springboks, the pride of our nation, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for continuing the fight. Thank you for fighting when the prospect of winning seems so slim. And thank you for showing us, as a country and a people, that victory is possible for South Africa if only we have the courage and the will to seize it. Thank you for reminding us of who we are and who we're meant to be. I look forward to welcoming you all back home and South Africa cannot wait to embrace you, our world champions. And thank you for showing the world that the dream of a united, prosperous and victorious South Africa is alive and well, despite the odds. For even if just by one vote, one voice, or one point, we will succeed. Well done, Boca, and welcome home.